I, uh, I was in Dublin and Belfast on tour with Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and I, I said we were going to Stoke next and we got the old like, you know, cool roll of the eyes and the uh, old poor you and that. And, uh, and I thought it can't be that bad, you know. Uh, anyway, I googled it and it's on the top 10 worst towns. So I thought, well, maybe, maybe it is. So, um, but I thought I'm spending two weeks here and I just thought no, nowhere can be all bad. So let's have a little look. And, and the more I looked, uh, into it, the more there was to do. There was, there, there was, and, and more great things for it. I mean, not just geographically close to Manchester and Birmingham and Liverpool, and, and of course Snowdonia and the Peak District are not far away. You've got all that countryside. You, you're not, you know, not even an hour and a half to London on the train. So, for a, um, for that point of view, it's a, it's a perfect location. Uh, but even when we got here, you know, the Regent Theatre is fantastic. The, the show's been doing really well. Uh, the crowds are great and warm. We've been fundraising every night for Dougie Max, local charity. Raised like seven and a half thousand pounds just from loose change um, in people's pockets, which has been great. Um, and just loads of stuff. You know, we have had my kids here, so we've done Waterworld and Monkey Forest. We went out to Alton Towers. We've done the Potteries Museum and uh, Gladstones and Emma Bridgewater's uh, painting pots there. And uh, it's been great. I didn't think this at the v very beginning. I just thought, what is there to do in Stoke? Because I'm here for two weeks. So selfishly, I was just asking people what there is to do. But the more I walked around the city centre, the more people were like, cool, what are you doing here? Like, what are you doing in this place? And that's what I thought was interesting was, you'd never get that in Liverpool. You'd never get that in Newcastle, Edinburgh, Glasgow, London, Manchester, Bristol. Like those people are like, our city is the best city in the world. And you're lucky to be here. And when you come to Stoke, it seems to be the harshest critics are people from Stoke. And sometimes it takes an outsider to come in and just go, actually, it's all right here, you know? You know I was looking, looking for oatcakes and there's a statue of Sir Stanley Matthews there. Like, you don't see it because you live here. Yeah. And you see it all the time. But sometimes when you, from the outside looking in, you, you notice that somewhere has got more than people think.